You are either a complete moron or a brave fool to even set foot on the land that surrounds Scaleswind. This is not even worth my time. Captain, attack Zane on your command! What a shame. And here I thought the Lord of Scaleswind would be happy to see me. The man who knows where his precious daughter is. <laughs> you jest! She was murdered, if you don't remember, by one of your men. I have information that proves her death was a lie, an illusion, to fool both Scaleswind and Ocasis into war. Why should I even believe you? She's alive, and I'm willing to go as far as to surrender to you to prove this. If you still think I'm lying, even after I have put my honor on the line, then so be it. I'll be leaving. Wait! <laughs> what was all that about? I'm willing to let you live, under the condition that you give me your solemn vow not to tell anyone, not even your sons, that I am here. What happens if I tell? then you'd be putting not only your village in danger, but the entire realm as well. You have no idea what lengths people will go to to obtain that amulet. What are you talking about? Are you going to speak of my whereabouts to anyone, or can you vow to never speak of me? You aren't really answering my question. I don't need to. I'm here to investigate. If nothing goes wrong, no one will even know that I am here. It needs to be this way. Then I won't say a word. Good. What the... Who was that guy? <sighs> All I know is that my life could have been taken there. <sighs> I don't even know. I... So much is going on. Let's just get what we came here for and get out of here. Levin Malachi, I'm sorry to do this to your treehouse, but we need to get some of these logs. I promise I'll rebuild it, just... <sighs> he held his sword to my throat, how could... <sighs> I don't even know anymore, it's... <sighs> I feel like I should tell someone about him. <sighs> he saved my life once, I'd trust him to save it again. Let's just get out of here. Quickly. <laughs> He did save my life once before, so I think I can trust him. Especially since, yeah, the whole werewolf incident. I think I'll be fine. Right. <sighs> Lawrence! Um, one second. Hey! Uh, uh, hi! Lord Afma, are you okay? Are you crying? You look pale. Did something happen? Mmm... Um... I don't think I should tell him. If it's for the safety of my village, then... What if that guy does something to Levin or Malachi? He said my... <laughs> Nothing, I've just been losing a lot of sleep. I can carry you home if you're tired. Uh... No, no, no. No, I just needed to... Yeah, collapse a lot of emotions onto someone or something... Sorry about that. <laughs> it's no problem. Darn, for a second there I thought you were going to confess your undying love for me. <laughs> well, that snapped me back to reality. Well, maybe next time. But seriously, this look is very unlike you. That's a weird thing to say. I don't know. It's just, I guess I'm thinking too much about things. Never mind. Anyway, I have some news about the gate of Phoenix Drop. Are, are you in the mood to hear about this? Yeah, I'm in the mood to hear about anything else aside from... other people. Well, if you say so. I'm sure Dante told you about the happenings in the village. I'm really concerned about Gareth. This is absolutely unlike him to get sick so suddenly. I haven't known him for as long as you... I have. 
But if I were sick, I'd tell someone that I was going to be locking myself in my room, right? Is this something Gareth would do if he's sick? I don't know. I I've, I've never seen Gareth sick. Interesting. Then we'll have to assume this is how he reacts. A guard has pride, you know. Even if our foe is illness, we don't like to show our weaknesses. In any case, I have Cadenza watching over him. She's an excellent caretaker. I told her if anything happens to Gareth, tell us immediately. In any case, let's move on to the talk of the walls. Thanks to Corey, Brendan, Dale, and others, the wall has finally been constructed. I set up a new patrol there, led by Brian. He'll be delegating tasks to our available guards. Nicole has even offered to step in to keep watch while Gareth is sick. Um... That's wonderful, but why would she want to step in as a guard? Uh, because she wants to help protect her new home? Odd. I thought you would be happy to hear we have more help. I- I- Wow. I I'm sorry, I am. It's just- I don't- Everyone's just- it feels different. I- I am, I am. Hmm. He feels your forehead. Are you coming down with the same thing Garth has? Oh no. Could this be contagious? No, 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 no! Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I'm just really out of it right now. Hmm. All right. You know, even if you were contagious, I'd still let you hug me any time. Regardless, I'd like you to stop by the gate and the gate patrol and check in on Brian. He'd be honored if you'd acknowledge his new position. You don't have to do it immediately, but sometime today or tonight is preferred. Oh, don't tell him I told you. Let him announce it to you himself. I want him to feel proud of his position and know that I value him as a member of our village and our guard. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. <laughs> I try. Here, let me take those sacred wood logs to Cory for you. I had stopped by the plaza to see what I, the Irene situation was about. I'm glad you, find, you found a solution to this. I'm excited to see what Cory and the other builders make for her. I'll let you get back to your business, Lord Afmao. Be safe. I need to get back to patrol. All right, Lawrence. Be careful. I'm not even joking, Lawrence. Please be careful. I just... Ugh. I am so out of it. I need to snap back into... I just really need to snap back into, like, my old self right now. I just need to pretend like that didn't happen. I think I'd go sh I, I should go see Levin and Malachi. They always just make me feel better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it, I mean, how would you react if your life was threatened? I I don't know. Uh, Emmelyn. Hey. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, outside? This is unlike you. She's deep in her readings. Uh... Emmeline, what are you doing out here? Ah! Don't scare me like that! Oh, gosh! <sighs> oh, it's only you, Lord Afma. Only me. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were a monster. I was reading about earlier. Oh, gosh. Whew. <laughs> no, no. I, well, I mean, I do bite, but... um, uh, Why are you out here? I'm really curious about that. Oh, I needed to get out today. I wanted just to sit under a tree and relax, you know. I did that a lot while I was in Metelli, since the library there was so small. It's just relaxing to read outside, you know. <laughs> I digress. I'm reading yet another fascinating book about Lady Irene. Ugh. She was such a wonderful woman. The book I'm going over right now was written by scholars who attempted to study what made her so great and how she managed to do the things she did. There's this one scholar named Thomas who believed that Irene's power was not just from her own aura, but from a mystical stone that she possessed. He also goes on about she about how she had a special realm where she meditated her powers. I don't know how it works, but I'm itching to find out more about it. If I learn anything else, would you be interested to know? Um... Wow, uh, you're really excited. Of course, yeah, I love talking to you. <laughs> Thanks, milady. Not many people want to sit and listen to me because when I talk about Lady Irene, I just get so worked up I forget to take breaks in my sentences, I can tell. <laughs> um, I did it again, huh? <laughs> well, yes, anyway, I'll be here reading. Come talk to me if you ever want to know something. I always love to talk about books I've read. Um. Glad you're really enthusiastic about something, Emmeline. I just... 
Oh my gosh, I just, yeah, I just need to, I just need to get, I, I need to go see Levin and Malachi. That's what I need to do right now. I just need to, to get my mind off everything and anything and just, you know, keep it, keep it quiet. That's it. Just, yeah. All right. Once I see Levin and Malachi, I should feel perfectly fine. Uh, Levin, Ma Levin, what are you doing over here? Hi, Mama. I'm eating a snack. Huh? It's so great to see you. <laughs> I love seeing you. Oh, I love you. You just like snap me back to my. I love you, Levin. You're adorable. Um. Oh, that's right. I have a present from Cadenza for you. Present? Oh, gimme, gimme. Um, please. <laughs> of course. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Come on, let's go get you changed. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, Levin! You look like such a little adult with grown-up clothes on! Oh, <laughs> oh! Wow! Levin looks different! What are these things on my leg? <laughs> They're pants. You've been so used to wearing a diaper, but you keep them on! Oh, so, no diaper? No, you're growing up. No diaper no more, you're talking and everything. I'm sorry, no. It's okay. Levin is big now. <laughs> what was that? Levin, stay here. Hello? What's going on? Seriously, what's going on? Zoe! Huh? Uh, Zoe! Wh Malachi! Zoe, what's going on? Malachi! Malachi, Malachi, wake up, please. Well, I'm not a poltergeist or a medium, so I can't say much on his condition. Zoe, what in the world happened? <sighs> Malachi wanted to know more about mixing potions, so I allowed him to work on his own. One of the potions he was making was one that required a sapling for the ingredient, and he used one of the Yagdrasil's sacred saplings on accident. <sighs> Malachi. What? You're never supposed to use those in anything! It's all my fault. I don't deserve to care for him, or any child anymore. Zoe, wait! <sighs> Zoe... <sighs> it's... She's being hard on herself. This wasn't her fault. <sighs> Mistakes happen, I understand. It's... I'm not mad at her, I just... <sighs> Indeed. I hate to say this, but thank goodness it wasn't Levin or a child who was alive. I can't say that the explosion wouldn't have... you know. Still, Malachi getting hurt? That's impossible. He can possibly react to pain, but to be knocked out? This is weird. This is really, really weird. I'm gonna monitor his condition for a while. Thank you, Lucinda. We have a guest room downstairs if you want. I mean, we have like a huge room, but I can fix it up later. Thank you for the offer. I might just take you up on it too. No one is ever supposed to burn or harm a Yagdrasil's sacred sapling. They are enchanted with an unknown magics. I want to see what happens to Malachi, and if I can help him, I will. Don't worry, Afmao. I got this. <sighs> Thank you, Lucinda. I... I appreciate you so much. You've done so much for this village since you've been here. Just know that. Malachi, oh, my sweet little boy, please just be okay. I'm gonna leave him to you, Lucinda. I know you work best when you're by yourself. Just take care of him. Okay. All right, Bigglesworth, it's good to see you too. I'm just, I guess I'm just out of it. Um, anyway, yeah. Zoe? Zoe, are you down here? Zoe, Levin? <sighs> Mommy, why is Zoe crying? <sighs> Zoe, please talk to me. Afmal, I don't deserve to watch kids anymore. <sighs> Zoe, I'm not mad at you. S things can happen like this. You aren't? Still, that doesn't forgive what I put Malachi through. 
Zoe, you are a part of my family. You've been with me forever and you've been taking care of the kids. Accidents happen. They can get into stuff like just instantly. It's okay. He's fine. I, I hope. I think. Just be more careful next time. I will. Afmal, are you sure? Yes, I am. Th thank you. I swear I'll make up for this. I'm going to put away my potions where the children can't find them. I'll play with them even more than I already do. I'll make sure everything is spick and span in the house. I want things to be right. I love Malachi and Levin so much. Thank you, Lady Afmal. <sighs> You're welcome, Zoe. Just, Levin, keep an eye on her, all right? Keep an eye on her. I'm gonna... I told Lawrence I would go see Brian today, so just keep an eye on her and things will be fine. I hope. I really do. I, I think Malachi would be fine. Um, you guys, uh, keep watch over the house. Thorgy, you can come with me today. I... Yeah, just come with me today. I need some company. I am gonna let Lucinda do her thing with Malachi. In the meantime, I know that I have other duties I need to attend to, even though Malachi is like my first and foremost duty. <sighs> I had to let Zoe work her magics. Literally. Not her magic, sorry. Oh, oh, I shouldn't tell her that. Work her witchcraft. Because if I, um... Yeah, just, I gotta keep positive. Gotta keep positive. That's what I gotta do. <sighs> I'm sure Malachi will be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be good. He'll be good. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, oh wait. Did Lawrence give Cory those, um... Those logs? Uh, that I... The sacred logs that I gave him? Uh, Cory! Hey! Uh, what's this? Hi, Cory! Lady Athmau, Lawrence gave me the sacred wood logs you harvested. I'm incredibly happy about the way this turned out. Now I have one more quest of you. <laughs> really? Just... <laughs> I've been going every... Okay, yes? What is your request? Since you are the lord of our village, it is only appropriate that you decide where the statue goes. Here, take this banner and place it at the site you wish for us to build her new shrine. We'll locate it later in the day. We've been putting a few of these up for projects, so we've... Wait, we've been putting a few of these up for other projects so we can survey the village before the night. Haha. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Lady Athmau. <laughs> I like how he just assumed I was going to do it. But yeah, you're right. I'm going to do it anyway because these are my people. This is my village and I got to take care of it. So, right. Um, I will take this banner and, Corey, I will do the thing that you asked me to do, which is to find a new place where I have no idea where to begin. Yeah, I feel the exact same way, Thorgy. I just, I just, I don't even know. I have no idea where to begin to put this thing. What about on top of the hill right there? Like, what if I put it, uh, ooh, look at this place. <gasps> ooh, the new guard tower. I haven't seen that. I want to go take a look at that. There's so many things to be happy about in the village. I just need to focus on that. And not the, where'd you go? Not the bad. You're not even listening to me. You're a terrible, terrible non-listening dog. Um, okay. Let's see. I must have picked this up from the explosion. Ugh. Okay, um, it's all right. We're just gonna eat some of our rainbow curry and Let us go. Uh, Thorgy, are you hungry by any chance? Yes, you are you adorable little dog You are hungry. So let's I want to go see what the new guard tower looks like and maybe from up there we can find um Like a place where I can put the statue at that would be great to do um, Let's come up here. It looks just like the other one, but I guess a little bit different um, a little bit. It doesn't look like they've settled into this one right here. Um, okay, so a place to put, a place to put the Irene statue. Let's see. We could probably put it, I don't want to put it next to anybody's house, because I don't want any construction. Actually, I don't want to put it anywhere near, like, the plaza or anything, because if we put it next to some place where people live, they're going to want to move it again. It's got to be in a place, like, all on its own. Some place where, um, well, obviously we can't put it beyond the gate, so no options are available to me out here. Unless I have them expand the gate, but why would I do that? That's just, like, making them do more work and having to tear down more buildings and stuff. I could put it right there. Uh, but then people wouldn't be able to see it. Um, how about over here? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh, that's a really good spot, actually. That's that looks like this. This now that I think of it, it looks like the helm of a ship, and I could put it right on the. <gasps> I could put it right up there. That is such a beautiful spot. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful, Thorgy. That's a you are defying gravity there, aren't you? But that is a beautiful spot. Let's go. I want to go right there. That is so. Pr when did, did they terraform that stuff? What did 
That is just beautiful. I need to go over there. Like, right now, right now. Like, that is a... Yeah. That's a pretty spot. And look, the sun rises from there, and that is just... Oh. That would be so beautiful just to put it right there. It would be even better if it was facing in the sun, but you know what? Just that little image in its own, I want to put it all the way at the top up there. I think that's going to be like the best place to put it. If I could just get all the way over there, that would be great. Let's see, let's move over here. Um, I got a, few, I got a lot of business to attend to today, gentlemen. So I'm not going to purchase any merchant wares today. But I want to go put this up here, this banner. And let's come up here. I want to take a look at the area before I do that, though. Because I think it would be cool if people, like, came in on their ships and just saw the Statue of Lady Irene, like, right up here, like a shrine right around this area. That would be beautiful. Yes, exactly. Okay, right. Thorgy, I think this is exactly where I want this to go. Right here. Um, let's see. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. No, I'm gonna get rid of all of this debris. Debris, not debris, grass. Just put the put this right there. There we go. Um, I don't want to put a little icon on it. We don't really have an icon, so not yet. But I'm just gonna leave the banner blank, so they have a bunch of blank banners around here. Thorgy, um, all right. So we got the banner here. We chose a spot for Lady Irene. Let's follow the gate, and um, I think what we should do is just we gotta go see Brian. That's right. I I totally that just flipped my mind let's just get over there to go see brian because that's what lawrence asked me to do and i told him i was going to do it so yes okay go to the gate and talk to brian let's go find him um uh, i'm just so worried about gareth i really am i hope he's doing fine i know cadenza is taking great care of him though and oh look there's another banner over there um Every time I pass by this shrine, I'm just, I just think of uh, all the crazy things that happened before. Anyway, maybe they can do something amazing with that shrine, the builders. Yeah, but anyway, um, Brian! Hey! Cadenza? Cookie? Who? Brian? What's going on? Lady Atmau, a good day to you. You're looking lovely. Um... It's great to see you, Brian. What's going on here? Oh, well, allow me to introduce you to your new guard in charge of gate patrol. Me! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I got promoted to a lead position. <laughs> That's great, Brian. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, and would you know it? Someone actually decided to come to the gate today. I allowed her to come in after I questioned her multiple times and checked her travel items. You should go introduce yourself. She's a very sweet gal, and she's a, she says she's a fortune teller. Isn't that interesting? Go, going to have to, to going to have her tell my fortune later after my duty. <laughs> go on, meet her. <laughs> you believe in fortune telling, Brian? Well, oh, my goodness. She looks, she's, pr oh my gosh. Oh, a good day to you. I'm sorry, I didn't notice you before. Miss Cadenza here had been talking the world to me. <laughs> um, my name is Lillian. May I ask you your name? <laughs> um, good day, Lillian. I I'm Afmau. Afmau, what a lovely... <gasps> Afmau? You mean, you're the lord of this village? Y how do you know that? Cadenza here has been talking so much about you. I'm honored to be in the presence of a woman such as yourself. Your, ende your endeavors have reached the ears of many villages near and far. She bows to you. <laughs> if you're talking about the thing in Brightport, um, yeah, I mean, that was a while ago, and I guess I have helped out other villages too, but, um, <laughs> Brian tells me you're a fortune teller? Fortune teller? Ah, that sounds so... Merchanty? No, no. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm a recognized prophet. I've had visions come to me multiple times of which have come true. You can ask many a lord. I have predicted famines, drought, love, you name it. Uh, it? Wow. I is that a magics? A kind, yes. Though it's also not in a way. It's a little difficult to explain. I still don't quite understand it myself, but here I am. I'm just traveling the world right now, so... 
if you don't mind, Lord Aphmau, may I please request sanctuary in your village? I'm just passing through and I won't be any trouble at all, I swear. In fact, I plan to help while I'm here. Cadenza is telling me of someone named Gareth and how he's sick. I happen to be a herb specialist as well. I can help you make something to nurse him back to health. So, would you have me? Uh, after all that's happened here, just... Yes, just try to stay out of trouble, Lillian, please. Yes, ma'am, I sure will. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, looks like we got someone new in the village. Uh, Aphmau, I was picking some herbs to try to make a potion I was reading in a book that might make Garth better when I saw Brian talking to this lovely woman with this beautiful outfit. I just had to come say hi to her and she's such a sweetheart. I've asked her to help with Garth, so hopefully we'll have Garth back by tomorrow. Thank you so much for allowing her to stay here. I'm so worried about Garth. I am too. I really am. Um, but in any case, welcome, Lillian, to Phoenix Drop. Um, Thorgy, I think it's time that we go home. And I think we're just gonna rest for the rest of the day. Yeah. Let's do that. Just rest. Too much has been going on. <laughs> <laughs>